fishy, fishy, fishy. Every day that they see me, they see me. Alright, come on, you can do it. I tell them not much, but we know I had to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing, this has been only what a week, but you're getting two back-to-back -back videos of ice fishing. So our setup, we'll give you a quick little tour of our setup here. So we have a tip up on this side. We got our two-man shack right here again. We did one hole in each here. And then we did one other tip up on this side. Um, hopefully we have some better luck than we did last time. Let's go over here, we picked up, we finally got, the other one fell through, but we finally got ourselves an auger, so we're all set up to be able to not have to rely on other people. We even got a heater, so we can stay warmer, stay out fishing for you guys a little bit more. Um, we're gonna get our lines all set up, we're gonna get our insulation put in. The tip-ups are already set, ready to go. Maybe one of them will pop off here soon, and then we're gonna jump in and get fishing. Finally got the lines in the water. So we're doing some routine maintenance. two hours later all right so here's an update for you guys so we're out we're not having much luck again we're starting to get it dialed in we're both very new to ice fishing so we're not out here just dropping in can't like I know there's some technique to it we do not have that yet but here's the fun part so we picked up some new stuff today we picked up the new auger and we picked up a heater and we're getting this thing dialed in because check this out now Open it up. So here's the thing with ice fishing. So yes, I know there's, you know, it's a bummer when you don't catch fish. But right now, we picked up, the other thing we picked up today, picked up a Mr. Heater. We got that bad boy roasting. We got it vented down here. All, uh, all we did was turn it on for like literally two minutes and we came back in and, and it was like 55 degrees in here. Yeah. It's, it's it's nice. So we got two holes going. We got our heater going. We got uh, cans of water outside. <laughs> yeah, some well, there's water in it. Water and some Diet Cokes. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> and then we got Chiefs Bengals game on TV. There's very few things better than being with your buddy in an ice house. That's right. You got lines in the water. You got heat. And it's this is the best way to embrace a Minnesota winter. You actually look at this. We actually have condensation on our windows because it's so warm in here right now. So what I'm trying to do is trying to be on a few feet off the bottom. It's not terribly deep right here. Um, so I'm trying to just go a few feet off the bottom. And when I talk like this and say this stuff, I, I don't know much about ice fishing. I'm really trying to learn. So if any of my subscribers, or even if you're not subscribed but you're watching this video, if you have any tips, tricks for me, please drop those in the comment section down below. We're starting to get some of the, um, the gear that we need. And now we're, just, now we're just trying to kind of figure out the game. So we've been watching, when I say we, it's uh, me and my buddy Paul have started to get into it. Um, but 
being in Minnesota and my whole, you know, having my, let me try to fix this, having my whole channel be, you know, being out enjoying the outdoors. This is one thing that we're we're trying to get into. I'm excited to get my daughter into it. So again, if you have any tips and tricks, please drop those in the comment section down below. I'm just trying to trying to navigate my way through the the fishing game. I've it's a little cold. But I'd figure I'd give you a break from the regular video you're watching for a little snowmobile content. It's actually the next day, and it's very evident we are having some issues, I'd say, ice fishing, because we're not catching any fish. The perfect segue to the second half of this video is I tried a new subscription service. You know I like my subscription services. <laughs> my subscription services. You know I like my subscription services around here. So I tried a new one, Mystery Tackle. But every month they send you a new box. You can pick the, the type of tackle you're looking for. Right now, I'm in Minnesota, so we are doing ice fishing. So they design a box specifically around ice fishing lures um, and stuff to, to stock my tackle box with. What I'm hoping is that by getting this, it will start to set me up with some really good um, lures and ideas for maybe what I can do to catch some fish. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you what's inside of here. I'm gonna put a link in my description box below. This video isn't sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. This is the first time I've used them. So this is gonna be kind of a little bit more of an honest reaction. And we'll see what we got and hopefully that, uh, hopefully that helps us catch some fish next time. All right, so here we got our Mystery Tackle Box. Nice. So it's a cool little setup in here. It's got a... It's got a ruler on there. Check your, it's really cool. It's their keeper requirements. So if you're in like a, you can see, for contest entry. It has, it marks them all, all your panfish, trout, bass, walleye. It has your full measurements on what it is, what length they need to be for you to keep them, which is really neat. And so for somebody that's, I would say a relatively novice fisherman like myself, it's really cool to have these things just as a as a tool in your back pocket so you know what and you know what you can keep, what you can't keep, throwback, etc. So our first thing here, we got some uh, P3 plastics. They're scented. Um, they're made for looking for panfish out of Winona, Minnesota. That's pretty cool. Winona. I hear you. I used to play you guys in basketball. That was fun. So we had that. We got a little, oh, a little firefly, we got a little light eye, the lighted firefly, which is a nice little one. Um, a water activated LED light, that's that's pretty cool. Glows a red light. Increases your bite zone by 15 feet. That's nice. A little Catch Co sticker, shout out Catch Co. Um, the other handy thing I feel like is like this, defining the line um, gives a little bit of some tips on where fish typically like to hide in the winter time, you know, along weed lines, etc. So again, for novice, novice fishermen, I think this is really cool just to see these types of things so you know kind of maybe where to, to fish. I'm jumping back in. more scented little um, artificial leeches. Micro finesse leech pink. Little 10 pack. Little Lucky John. Baltic. Nice little lure. Fire leopard. Tungsten. Widowmakers. 
little, little hooks, tungsten hooks. If somebody knows, actually, I'll come back. I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to come back to this. So here's a, a QR code you can scan for some tips and tricks for ice fishing. And again, fishing tips and tricks. So this is really cool for, again, I think it, maybe maybe it's not, but I feel like this really is, is something that, as a novice fisherman, it's something you could really benefit from, from all the tips and tricks. So with this, it's tungsten. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I watch a lot of ice fishing videos, and I always hear people talking about tungsten. I don't know the big difference. Um, if somebody can drop in the comments down below the big advantage of, of having a tungsten one, um, I feel like that's that's something that a lot of people really like to fish with. So if you do fish with that, please drop that in the comment section down below and why you do. So it's cool. It's it's a nice little a little start to restocking my tackle box. I've always been the type of person that my tackle box has just kind of been a hodgepodge. Um, things I've gotten, you know, a Bass Pro on sale or a Cabela's on sale, something that, you know, I feel like they're pretty generic. Not necessarily generic brand, but generic styles of stuff that you kind of just use as a, a catch-all, if you will. But it's it's going to be fun as we get into the ice fishing thing. It's going to be fun to really kind of hone in and, and define, you know, a certain part of my tackle box just to ice fishing. And hopefully this helps. And huge thanks to Mystery Tackle Box. I'm going to put all their information in the description box below. If you want to use my code that I will have linked on there, you get $10 off your first box. You can get some of these same goodies. So thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. I really appreciate it. We're going to use all these tools next time, head back out on the lake. Hopefully we catch something. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button to not miss that next outdoor adventure. And with that, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>